No, I'm delighted to be joined here at the City Calling Stadium by the Lockford Town Manager, Neil Fenn. And Neil, after two consecutive defeats, great to bounce back with a Midlands Derby winner of Athlon Town now. 3-1 this evening. And back up to second in the table, just a point behind Shelburne with games now. Yeah, um, it's not so much the, the victory, obviously, that, that's nice as well, but it's more the, the performance. I thought we were very good from the start. Uh, I thought it was excellent at times, played some great stuff. And um, didn't let Athlone get in the game at all. Uh, conceded a bit of a sloppy goal, is obviously the downside, but apart from that, I thought we were excellent. Yeah, Sam Verdon slotting home that penalty after he himself was was fouled rather bizarrely in a strange position by Grove in the centre half and half long. But Tommy Fence just went to sleep there for their goal, Aaron Brilly slipping the ball through and and uh, with him slotted at home, just uh, left Brilly with too much time and space. Yeah, I think it was a great pass by him to be honest. I think that, you know to see the to see the pass that he did was excellent. But yeah, you're right. It, we we switched off for a bit. We scored. Probably took it a little bit easy. Um, it was nice to get a penalty though. It's only a, a, a first penalty in, in two years in the league. So I think he saved the last two penalties nice. he faced. It's wow. nice. It is. Yes, that's great. So it's even better that we scored. But yeah, it was. It, it, it seems strange to get a penalty. So um, we're glad we got one. I think we should have had one before that when Miles brought down um, Dean Byrne as well. So I thought it was going to be one of them days where we didn't get one again. But we did, Sam sort it away well, and um, like you say, we conceded the lead more or less straight away, which was worrying, but we got back into the game through Dean Byrne. And uh, Dean was electrifying tonight. Could have had a hat-trick, a couple of other attempts, say, but two goals, helping the town secure all three points from Dean. Yeah, he was excellent. You know, he's one of those players that, that can produce that kind of thing. Um, it, it frustrates us sometimes when he doesn't do that every week, um, but we know he can do it, so it's up to him to make sure now he's set the standard. And it's up to him to make sure he does it every week now. Yeah. And of course, Longford Town hit the woodwork on a few occasions as well. Anto Bresson with the free kick at the top of the crossbar. Then Sam Verdon with that delicious, exquisite, sumptuous curling effort that came back off the post. I thought Paul O'Connor may have got the rebound, but uh, Miles just snapped him. Yeah, you know, there's, there's those two. There's the, the keepers pulled up another couple of great saves as well from Dean and from Paulie. So we had a lot of chances. We had a lot of a lot of pressure, a lot of crosses, a lot of corner set pieces. So, you know, even though we got three, it was... Probably, probably should have scored more, but listen, we're taking after two defeats in a row, we're, we're taking three more And looking ahead now, big game, top of the table clash coming up next Friday night. It's Shelburne at Toker Park, and they're top of the table, just a point between Longford Town and Shells. Yeah, I was there last night watching watching Shells, and um, you know they got the victory, so that, you know that's taken them top. But again, if we if if, if we play like we did tonight, we're we were in with a chance. If we play like we did the last two games. Before this, then we've got no chance. So you know, it's just it's just a matter of trying to get that consistently, getting the level of our play up to where we want it to be, and uh, we're going to Tolka full of confidence. And it's very tight at the top, only four points separating uh, first from sixth, with Limerick up there in twenty four points in sixth place. So as expected, and you said it at the start, see, it's going to be a very tight league with five or six teams jockeying for position. Yeah, exactly. I mean, yeah, like we said it last week, it's, it's just it's just going to be tight. We just need to we just need to recognise that and get our head around it that. It's going to be tight, you're going to drop points, other teams are going to drop points. It's going to be like that all season. So there's, there's no team splashing money around um, buying the league or anything like that. So it, it's just the way it is. It's going to be tough, it's going to be tight. And um, we just need to make sure we come out on the positive side of the results um, against the top teams and, and starting next week. Yeah.